when the narcissist wins the game. You may be watching this video because you have lost to the narcissist. The narcissist defeated you, but the actual loss is not important because in life, you are destined to lose at some point and you will lose repeatedly until you finally start to succeed. But it's important to identify that the loss serves as an introduction to something more important. It connects you to your success. If you're not failing, you're never going to succeed. Losing is a normal part of life and it doesn't reflect badly on you. You may believe that the narcissist won the game because they're better than you. They're more intelligent than you are. They're stronger. They're bigger. They have more money. But even though you went up against them and you lost, there is no shame in that. Because that happens to everyone. The narcissist may be stronger than you in some areas, but in other areas, you are stronger than them. But in this area, they have won. They have defeated you. You need to think about how you lost. What was the cause of your failure? Did you prepare for it? Did you do your best? If you put everything at risk and you still lost, you may feel disappointed in yourself, but it happens. It's still a normal part of life. It's something that many successful people have experienced. And there are people in this world who work very hard at what they do. They do everything they can. They utilize their maximum effort. They give it their all. And they still lose. But it doesn't mean that people are going to laugh at them. Because there is no shame in a person who gives everything and still fails. A person like that is still deserving of admiration and respect. Anyone who laughs at someone like that is a loser. And so is a person who doesn't put any effort in, yet still wins and expresses pride and triumph in a tone of gloating satisfaction. Because whether you win or lose, it's not important. What is important is if you are consistently trying to be better because a person like that deserves admiration and respect. That is what you should strive to be. You should want to put your all into it, even if you don't win. 
because at some point you will become increasingly successful. You will be someone. When the narcissist wins the game and you lose, you should not go around complaining to people. You should not tell everyone about it. You don't need people's sympathy. You don't need anything to distract you from the pain that you feel from losing. You need to process those emotions. When people pity you and they try to make you feel better about losing, it keeps you in that state of victimhood. It takes away your desire to do better. It takes away your anger and frustration, which is what you need so that you can evaluate what you did wrong. So that you can take accountability for where you find yourself and then learn from it. Because you should learn from every failure you have. You will never learn from your success. You will only learn from your failure. It will tell you what you need to improve. It will help you to do better next time. So although people may be trying to give you sympathy, you need to brush it off. Because those feelings of anger and frustration will help you to win the next time. If not with a narcissist, then in some other area of your life. When you fail, it gives you the opportunity to grow and become better. But you need to experience failure so that you can win. When the narcissist wins the game, you need to see it as an opportunity for improvement. You need to channel those feelings of loss into improving your performance. By analyzing your failures, by figuring out where you failed, think about what you didn't do so that next time you don't make the same mistake. Sometimes the narcissist is bigger, stronger and better than you. So no matter what you do, you're going to lose. Which is unfortunate, but it's just a part of life. But with the narcissist, they didn't give it their all. which can leave you feeling very bitter because maybe you gave everything you have but you need to identify the mistake you made even if it was something as simple as just trusting the narcissist because that will help you to be better if you encounter a similar situation in the future but this is how narcissists win the game because they've experienced the same situations in the past and they've learned not to give it their all. They've learned to make you invest everything that you have so that they can minimize any loss that they might otherwise experience. Which is how they win the game. Because you're investing everything you have. You're giving it your all and you have a lot to lose while they don't have anything. There's nothing at stake for them which is how they're able to behave in such an extreme way because they have nothing to lose while well, you're afraid to act in the way they do because it will put you at risk and you have a lot to lose which is how they always have their upper hand because while you may have a lot to lose they have nothing 
the person who has the most is always at a disadvantage in these situations because there's a lot that they could lose while the narcissist never gives it their all they never give everything they have which is why their relationships always end in the way that they do when it could have been very different they could have gotten the outcome or result that they wanted So although it may seem like the narcissist has won the game, that win could also be seen as a huge loss. Because they exploited someone who could have had a lot more to offer to them in the future if they hadn't manipulated and exploited them. Which is why narcissists are usually left feeling regret it causes them to build up more and more shame because deep down they know that what they did was wrong which is why the older they get the more miserable and dissatisfied they become but at least you can say that you gave it your all you gave it your best shot that was the best you could do but factors beyond your control led to a loss. There is no shame in that because you did the best you could so you can move on without any guilt or shame. Don't let it eat away at you. Maybe you made a mistake but you did the best you could. So forget about the past. It's not relevant anymore. Everything in your life is ahead of you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.